If you wear jewelry and you want it to be a sparkling and glittery new, like when you first brought it home, you really need to listen to this. I found this amazing product at a trade show. This woman introduced me to it. It's unbelievably good for cleaning all of your jewelry and silverware. I'm a jeweler and I you bought one years ago and I use it all the time. It's safe, it's non-toxic, it's not as complicated as an ultrasonic or those polishing cloths that leave horrible scratches and dirty, greasy streaks and damage the pearls and opals and other semi-precious stones. It's amazing. And I'm going to introduce her. I brought her here to, to show us how it's done. Thank you so much, Barbara, for coming. Thank you, Carol, for having me. It's a wonderful product because, as Carol has already mentioned, it does allow you to wear your beautiful things and know you're taking care of them as easily and as safely as possible. And it's very simple. All you need is a container uh, with hot water, some soda ash, which is often used in pools and spas to increase pH balance, so there's nothing caustic necrosis to cause damage to any of your beautiful jewelry or even your uh, hands. And then, of course, this is the key to the process. It's a metal disc made of 11 metal alloys that create a static charge that makes the metal, when you put it in, to clean uh, the pieces of silver. And every surface under the water uh, that's touching the plate is cleaning. It doesn't just clean silver. It cleans gold, platinum, stainless steel. You can do uh, any kind of a stone, precious stones, Opals and pearls included, as we've already mentioned. Uh, you do control the temperature of the water because they are temperature sensitive and you can't put them in hot water. But diamonds are carbon, as we know, and they attract oil, so they build up with a soap and lotion. And this cleans down inside of the ring or bracelets, tennis bracelets, where the diamonds and the stones are. So when the gold is clean, the light can shine through and uh, the refraction of light can sparkle and make the diamond sparkle. Sterling silver and you can put many pieces at one time. They don't even have to be done one at a time. Um, put it in, let it sit and pieces of jewelry that touch our skin such as earrings, chains, bracelets, um, build up with the soapy film and lotion and oil. You let it sit there a minute, run it between your fingers and that helps to remove those things that inhibit conduction, rinse them in clean water, and then dry them. The neat thing is, is you're never damaging or losing the value of your pieces because you're never wearing away the silver or the gold. And you can see how pretty and shiny this is. It's a beautiful bracelet. Carol makes beautiful jewelry. She has beautiful stones. They're semi-precious. Um, one of these strands, she told me, is strung on silk. You can do anything like that. The fittings are sterling and the, there's silver beads connecting them. We can put all of that in the water at one time, let it sit for a few minutes, and you can see how easy this is to uh, work with. If you have this and you could put it in your medicine cabinet by your toothpaste and your toothbrush in the morning when you get up and you want to go to work or maybe just before you go to dinner and you want to clean your jewelry. I notice that water is getting pretty cloudy. It is, and you can see if you've been watching that it's helping to dissolve any hairspray and perfume and the things that build up on the pieces of jewelry and gently run it between your fingers. There's no damage. And see how shiny the sterling silver pieces are? And then we have a dish here. We want to rinse it. You would always rinse with clean water. And that would remove any residue. So if you're putting earrings in here, it will not leave any kind of an irritation to cause um, allergies or anything like that. Rinse also it. Also notice you've got a perfectly white cloth there that you're drying it on and there are no dirt streaks in the... Usually mm -hmm. when you polish silver it leaves those dirty black streaks on whatever it is you're wiping it off on. At least I've noticed that a lot. Yes, and that isn't just a tarnish that's coming off. It's, it's also your my silver. silver. It is yeah. your silver that's <laughs> coming off. And the same would happen with gold as well. And you can see how even sparkly the beautiful stones are. They're, some are faceted or some are round, some are cabochon style. And you can clean all of those. This is gold. You can do gold. 
When you do bracelets and chains, as I mentioned, just let them sit there a minute, run them between your fingers. Gold does not tarnish as badly as silver, and the only way that gold would even be shinier ever is if a jeweler were to buff out any superficial scratches. So how often do I want to change that water when I'm doing it? If it gets about that dirty, should I change it? or Not necessarily, but what can happen is if you're doing many pieces, the water will cool off. And if that happens, then you want to take the disc out, take the disc out and maybe micro micromave the water. And then the disc itself is going to get dirty because it's attracting the sulfur and the tarnish. And so you'll need to uh, periodically clean it. And you can see here's uh, gold and diamonds. And here's a piece. Now this one, I don't know if you noticed so much before, it was tarnished, but there's still some black in it. We want to yeah, sometimes... I dipped that one in liver of sulfur, and I, yes, we, I made it intentionally darkened so that you could see the highlights. And we want to leave that patina in there, so you may not leave it as long or don't use quite as hot of water. You can do fashion jewelry. This is marcasite um, in sterling and you can just put it in. You don't leave it very long. If you're doing uh, any kind of costume or fashion jewelry, if there's glue involved, obviously you wouldn't want to leave something that's glued in hot, hot water, water for yeah. very long. So when we're saying hot water, we're just talking maybe how you'd wash your dishes hot yes, water? Yes, hot tap yeah. water from the faucet is generally all that is needed, and you can see how pretty mm. that is. I'm just amazed because it, you can just feel the difference from the yes. accumulated body oils. It, it just feels it. clean and smooth, and the the individual stones are very sparkly. And it didn't take any of the maker off of the pearls. None, no, not it's at all. Just and the the silk is just fine. It hasn't mm -hmm. loosened or no, or it tightened. It's great. I notice you're wearing a, a stainless steel watch. You can also do watches. Oh, if they're cool. waterproof, submerge the whole watch. If the watch isn't, then just put the band in. We'll pretend this has a watch on it, and the portion that's under the water touching the plate will be cleaned. It's very safe. It's quick. It's easy. And when a person has finished cleaning their jewelry, don't leave the disc in the water. Just dispose of it and take your little disc out. And I don't know if you got it. <laughs> get it out of here and here's some earrings the plate will start getting dirty and you can see here there's some little spots on mm -hmm. it it was brand new when we put it in um, uh, periodically and the instructions are very complete that come with it they tell you what you can use as a substitute for the soda ash if you should run out they remind you you need to use hot water they also remind you that you have to clean the plate periodically. If it doesn't, uh, if it isn't clean, it doesn't work as effectively because then the metals are not making contact, and that is the process that works. Because the dirt that used to be here is conducted to yes. that, and and, now and since the beads don't tarnish, they just get a film on them. The water gets dirty as it right. cleans the beads. Excellent. Thank you so much, Barbara. You're welcome. For well, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoyed it, and you do. Yeah, I've been work. using it for years. <laughs> yes. And you can clean your own jewelry at home, just next to your kitchen or bathroom sink. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So if the cleaning and preserving of your jewelry is important to you, please click the link below. Thank you.